Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to be recording an all dumbbell glute workout. Um, I'm doing this for a few reasons. The main reason being that I understand how intimidating it can be to walk into a gym and not know how to use the machines, to be scared of the barbell. I'm telling you, at the beginning, I was completely petrified of that barbell. So, all I need you to do is walk in your gym, grab a set of dumbbells, and you can go to the corner, you can go to the studio, wherever you're comfortable, or if you have a set of dumbbells, you can do this completely from home. And with that being said, we are gonna go inside and we are going to completely annihilate our glutes and hamstrings. Let's do this. So, as you can see here, I am putting a resistance band on my legs. The reason I'm doing this is to perform some glute activation exercises. You don't absolutely have to use a re resistance band, but I find my glute workouts to be the most effective when I warm up with the resistance band or the hip adductor and abductor machines. But since we are just using dumbbells and no machines, I decided to show you what I would do with the resistance bands. As you can see, there are no particular sets or reps. I'm just kind of going through the exercises until my glutes start to feel the burn, until they feel activated, ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and switch here to some resistant band hip thrust. Um, again, making sure you really press those hips towards the ceiling and squeeze those glutes at the top. You just wanna do this until your glutes feel like they're on fire. I'm telling you, starting out with this kind of exercise is really gonna help you out in the long and run. And in my warm up routine, I just do a set of quick squat jumps to get ready to begin. All right guys, so I just got through the glute activation exercises and I'm now gonna move on to the actual workout. We have five supersets to really target those glutes and hamstrings. Um, I grabbed a set of 15 pound dumbbells and one 30 pound dumbbell. You can do these with the same weight. You could use all different weights. Um, just for um, the purpose of not bringing all the dumbbells back to the studio, I just grabbed two. And with that being said, let's get started. So your first super set is gonna be sumo squats and sumo pulses. As you can see here, your feet are wide, your toes and knees are slightly pointed outward and make sure you're getting parallel this targets those inner thighs and outer glutes. After you get through about 10 to 12, you're gonna go right into pulses and pulse it out. Moving on to your second superset, raised hip thrust and banded hip thrust. So as you can see, I have a dumbbell sitting here. I'm gonna put my feet together, place my toes on top of the dumbbell, drive my hips towards the ceiling and really squeeze my glutes at the top. You're gonna feel this exercise in your hamstrings. I promise they will be on fire. Complete 10 to 12 reps, really squeezing on the top, and then transition into your next exercise, which you can see here, I went ahead and placed the resistance band back on my legs. I have the 30 pound dumbbell sitting on my hips, and I'm pressing up and squeezing my glutes together at the top, completing 10 to 12 reps of these as well. So next, we're gonna move into two hamstring exercises, straight leg deadlift and single leg deadlift. Here, I'm performing a straight leg deadlift with 15 pound dumbbells. You can go much heavier than this or you can use lighter dumbbells. Just keep those dumbbells close to that body, pop that booty out and squeeze at the top, keeping the tension. So following your straight leg deadlift, you're gonna move into a single leg deadlift. As you can see, my knee and foot is up on a bench, so it, it is assisted. I find this to be much more effective and I get much more of a stretch in my hamstring. So you're gonna complete 10 to 12 reps on each leg and then switch over to that other leg, just making sure that you're, you're keeping that dumbbell close to your body. And when you come up to the top, squeeze that glute each and every rep. So your final two exercises of this workout are Bulgarian split squats and jump lunges. As you can see here, I'm completing a Bulgarian split squat. My toe is up on the bench. Really, you wanna make sure that your knee and your foot is staying parallel. You're gonna complete 10 to 12 reps on each side, making sure you're getting nice and deep, taking that knee close to that ground and really putting the emphasis on your glutes. 
In the next clip, I'm gonna show you a modification in case you don't have a bench or that's too hard on your knees. You just put that foot back behind you and do a pulse down, taking that knee close to that ground and standing up, squeezing your glutes. Again, this is a modification of the previous Bulgarian split squat. And finally, to burn those glutes out, we are gonna do some jump lunges, completing 10 to 12 reps, get your heart rate up and really just burn it out. And then I just show you a modification for jump lunges here at the end. And that concludes your all dumbbell glute and hamstring workout. I have included a outline of the entire workout here. Thank you for watching. Please make sure to thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I will keep the videos coming. If you have anything you want to see, drop them in the comments. And until then, I'll see you next week.